Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Now, we build some truly fantastic, he arrogantly states, uh, custom guitars. And part of that, a big part of that, is through the imagination of our clients. Now, we have two rules. We will build anything as long as it is attractive, as long as it's something that I want to see on our website and will be proud to promote and say, hey, I built this. And it has to be ergonomic. It has to be playable. It has to be fit for purpose. It has to be an instrument that will do its job. Um, other than that, go crazy. Inlays, timbers. Um, there is very, very, very little that we cannot actually create from crazy materials um, onwards. And uh, often it's a phone call. And we'll go through a blank spec sheet and we'll just say, oh, well, we'll do this and we'll have you know, a Clara walnut body and uh, all those handmade pickups, or do you want these pickups, or, or, or whatsoever. And uh, it's based possibly on one of our old standard instruments, uh, a Robert Fripp model, for example, or something like that. But every now and then, we have a client come to the workshop and spend three or four hours, and we will design from the ground up. I'll say, this is your, what, what scale length do you want? What instruments do you play? And so on. And build it up from the scale length, then the neck width, and then the body shape and the balance and the ergonomics. And um, I will draw out a plan and say, well, there we go, that's that. Uh, now, what I want to show you today is something that uh, a truly inspired client provided for us. We went through that process. I drew the plan up and he went away with that plan and said, I'm going to customize this a little bit. And uh, two or three months later, he came back and uh, and here we have, here we have what has amazed me so much. Now, the base drawing is what I've created. It's the, uh, it's a fairly generic uh, double cutaway shape. We started out from the, from the center line, worked out the frets, the fretboard, the positioning, and, uh, the, and the basic shape. And then the fun begins. And this system here is what amazes me. And I'm really, really annoyed that I haven't thought of it beforehand. A uh, series of hinged bits of tracing paper. And you can see the beautiful inlay idea he's had. Various different types of flour, which we're going to do in different um, shells and metals and things. And uh, that's quite interesting. And thought, no, actually, we don't need that. Just the flowers on their own look perfectly serviceable. And it's, it's less busy. Now, the same thing on the body. He's roughly put in the, the pickups and that. We're doing a, a 3D spear design coming through from the back. And uh, we played with different ideas for control knobs. And uh, the way this is working, it means that we've got the whole instrument. And even on this headstock here, we were playing with different shapes for the end. So we had two or three different uh, overlays that flipped over. And uh, you could see what we want. Uh, now, the exact same system uh, for the back here although less. So that's uh, it's a multi, multi, multi laminate neck. Flip that over and we can see the position on the back. Uh, we've got different inlays that go in there. Um, specifications for where they are supposed to be and uh, the design. It's just a very detailed and clever way of designing a guitar. And uh, and I just wanted to share that with you. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Check out all of our tutorials on how to build guitars and uh, the podcast, etc. And uh, most importantly, check out crimsonguitars.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.